Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, today I'll be showing you a new product that I just got in. Um, so this is actually for Airsoft. Um, I just picked up a uh, Ace Attack Lighter S uh, tracer unit. What this basically does is it glows in the dark um, every time I shoot uh, a BB. So these are glowing dark BBs, same company, Ace Tech. Um, and these are, I believe, 0.20s BBs. But essentially, what they do is just light in the dark every time I shoot. And this unit sends off like a, um, a light, a green light, and just illuminates the BB every time it shoots. I'll give you a demo later on. Uh, but later on in this video, um, I just picked up some more BBs as well. Um, I actually run 0.28 in my AG. Um, and I also bought a new gun, so look out for that as well. Let me do a quick unboxing. Let me reposition the camera. Um, that way y'all can see it better in action. And also, I will be adding on to my pistol for you. So I get my new gun. That was the whole point of the tracing unit, but yeah. Hey, one more thing I wanted to mention. Um, sorry that I look so tired. It's actually 2.30, 2.32 a.m. in the morning. I literally just got off work, and I was like, this is a great time. Do a product review on the Ace Attack. Um, actually, I was waiting for this, so I didn't want to wait any longer. So this thing is also 67 um millimeters long should be great this is the unit so it's really tiny this thing should work perfectly so let me just go ahead like I said I was gonna reposition the camera um putting downwards that way y'all can see my hands or whatnot of me assembling everything So, this is a charging cable. This is just a USB charging cable. It's only about this long. So, not getting enough too special. So, I'm probably just going to use this other one I have. Um, it's actually way longer. So, it's about this much longer. I don't know. This should work fine. Just hook it up to a um, wall adapter or whatever. And just plug it up to the wall and charge this thing. Or what I'm probably just going to do is just have this on the back of my computer. So I can just plug it up and just charge my tracing unit before a game or whatever. And one more thing I wanted to mention that it does have a on and off um, feature. So after like 40, 45 minutes, it will automatically turn off. Um, and it's 30, 32 grams without the adapter. So that's weight. Um, the left is 64 and the diameter, diameter is 27. So let me go ahead and show y'all that. So I can go ahead and pause the um, clip. And... A fully battery, I mean a full battery can shoot up to 22,000 rounds before dying. Cool. So, the um, Allen key that you have, actually, I know this is not going to fit. Yeah, it's not going to fit. The pistol. So, Allen key that comes with it, you just take the Allen key and then simply just unscrew it unscrew the adapter you just push it through and just turn it nothing too special and now you have a bigger um, diameter so this is for a smaller pistol I was actually thinking about going to Walmart and getting like a small little mini pistol about like this size that should be fun to play with and whatnot. but so, 
This is eight millimeters counter uh, thread. This is actually um, fourteen um, reverse threaded. So take it. Let me actually show you like this. Screw it on like so. Make sure it's on there snug, but not too tight. I'm not trying to break it. And that's what it looks like. So. not locking. Wait a minute. I think my pistol's broke. <laughs> Hold on. Let me screw that real quick. Yeah, my, um, it's not locking. I've been having some issues with this pistol as well. Let me just take it apart real quick. So as y'all probably just saw that, um, this piece just broke off. That's great. I'm trying to figure out where is this, where did this piece come from? This small little piece. It's metal shavings pretty much everywhere in this gun. It's been grinding. I try lubing it up, still having issues because it's a couple uh, pieces broke off the slider, actually. So that little, this piece right here is broken. Uh, let me put this down. Um, what else? So the gun is actually very dry. I haven't used it in a while. So. Let me actually clean this gun real quick. That way I can demo it. Oh yeah, if you're wondering, yes, there's a racer in there. My hop up keep moving. And I put a racer in there that like kind of wedge it. Um so let me go ahead and take this gun apart, lube it up. Cause it sounds really nasty.
Okay, so guys, I'm back. Um, so yeah, if you ever want to see like a detailed video of me cleaning my gun and actually give you a walkthrough of everything that you should be looking for, um, pretty much, um, this gun gets a lot, a lot of use. So it's have actually been breaking on me recently, but as you can hear. I give you like listen. Now, uh, before and after, if I if I throw that in there, uh, what it sound like before. But yeah, moving forward. So it's all greased up. I mean, not greased up, but lubed up and everything. The barrels, um, pretty lubed up. I try to. Hopefully no one gets on me for using um, tissue, toilet paper. This is actually a perfect time to kind of do like a tune up of the gun. I haven't really used it recently. I've been using too much of my rifle. So as you can see like all the scratches and everything. It's just a mess. This actually, this screw seems a little bit loose. So I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit. It likes to get loose and I keep forgetting about it. It's like one of the things where it's like, um, it doesn't really cause any problems. I mean, it probably caused problems, but you don't know what it is until you really, like, look at your gun. Like, okay, I think that's the problem's kind of loose. Let me tighten it up. I try not to tighten it up too much. Y'all could probably hear that. The gun... Is reliable don't get me wrong but when you mistreat the gun the gun will mistreat you that's kind of like what I like to say I have like a little bag where I store like pretty much everything in all my parts all my spare parts and whatnot and I take it with me everywhere I go with my guns not everywhere I go but every time I bring my guns with me that bag comes too because you never know when you gotta take something apart. Um, so let's get back to the uh, tracer unit. Um, so actually, it's a little cover on the front, right? You might have like wonder like where the hell you charge this at. So we're gonna show you. Unscrew that. I was actually thinking about painting this red. Like spray painting this part red because this is plastic and it's replaceable. Um, but this is metal. This is metal. This is plastic. So the charging cable actually comes in right here. Um, plug it in, and it starts charging. <laughs> basically, you hold the button right there, and you're gonna see a blinking light. Not sure if I've seen that or not. Yeah. All right. And to cut it off, you hold down the button again until you see a blue light. So I'm not sure if y'all saw that blue light or not. That's basically off. Um, and put the cover back on because I don't need to charge it. I mean, I probably charge it like before game day, but I'm not going until Thursday. Today is Monday. I go every Thursday. Replay airsoft. Also, mother tool thing that I bring with me everywhere I go but this little adapter I'm just gonna throw it in there you never know when you might need it so this is my old suppressor it's actually hollow I paid like 10 bucks for it I actually um, put some foam inside of it to actually like silence it and it actually pretty it worked um, so this gun is very loud to shoot it's not too loud but it's it has a decent loudness but yeah huh I wonder if I can modify and put the trace size out of it I can yo hold on I wonder if I can get like a a, a, a barrel extension and actually hide the tracer unit inside of it and whatnot Hide the tracer unit inside, like so. 
it is sliding back and forth. I'm not sure if I can hear it. But if I probably like glue it to the barrel, the inner barrel of this, I got myself like a little like nice little suppressor that looks sick. It's, I mean, it looks cool. What I mean glue, I'm probably mean like hot glue. Glue on the side of it. I'm going to get the speed loader out. Um, so I actually wanted to try something. So, put a couple in here. So my speed loader is actually broken. Just found that out just now. So, I loaded about 7 BBs on this. Um, I'm not sure how much CO2 is on well, But, clear the chamber. Make sure it's empty. It's basically empty. And, I have extended on here. But I'm not going to use all of it. So, I'm just basically going to shoot up my pillow. I mean, my sheets. The BBs actually stayed lit. Um, it was still gl glowing in my hand afterwards for about, I would say, like a minute. So, these are pretty good BBs. When the battery is starting to die, you will see a orange light, actually. A flashing orange light. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Um... See you on the next video, guys. Later. So, this is just a clip um, I recorded after I did the video. But, I was sitting here, and I was kind of bored. And I was just doing homework. And, I think on the other side of this, I'm going to write Glow Boys. Um, so, for right now, I'm going to write it in a silver Sharpie. Um, later on, I'll get like a sparkle Sharpie or something like that. A gold one. Um, and actually write it in gold. I think I have it taped off, and I just think this might look somewhat cool. Glow Boys, and then we have their logo on the other side.